Hello YouTubers, this is GQ Water Diagnosis and Repair, where my job is to save you money. Welcome back to the channel. This afternoon I'm working on a 2014 Ford Fusion 2.5. It's a four-cylinder automatic front-wheel drive vehicle. And in this video I'm going to show you how to remove your front CV axle. And we're going to start on the driver's side. Okay, so... Uh, before I continue with the video, I just want to take a quick moment. And thank you all the subscribers for following the channel supporting it i really appreciate it the channel has been growing exponential every single day so i just wanted to take that time and say thank you for your support thank you to my friends to autozone and thank you to all my customers i really appreciate it so let's get into the video all right so the first thing that we're going to need to do is going to be able to the way I like to do it, that has to be able to to move the rotor with the strut so I can just maneuver and do whatever I need to do. Okay, so first of all, ready to disconnect the battery. I'm gonna open the ignition switch so I can turn the steering wheel to the right. Okay. Just like that. So that way that will expose this part right here. And that is going to be 21 millimeter or 1316 whatever you're using that's fine i'm using this right now and it's starting to spin on me happens so we're gonna try we're gonna do something here give me a sec try two different things here really quick number one we're gonna try to use this uh, present wrench here hopefully my my arm is not on the way and I'm gonna press down here there you go okay put it there so here's an area so you can actually put the wrench there and put pressure on the pressure what's going to do going to put pressure up against the spindle okay so this is going to stop spinning so that way the the lock nut actually i mean the the nut can actually come loose now because it was spinning we can actually just move and that's out okay so again, I'm gonna do what it works for me. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the CV axle nut. This is one inch and one quarter. Okay. Put that there, so that should be nice. Now here, we are going to, this have a little bit of pressure is because the sway bar link connector is connected to the strut and the sway bar so i'm gonna disconnect this so that way that little tension that i might put it on is gone so i can move this a lot easy okay that is an 18 millimeter okay the same thing is happening here and happens quite a bit let's see this one on the back might have something there give me a second I brought the big ones here probably this is going to be too big to grab and twist but I'm gonna try why not I'm already here Um. 
Oh, I see what I'm going to do. Try something a little bit different. Okay. Hopefully you can see here on the bottom of the sway bar. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this big long breaker bar. And I'm gonna put pressure down. And that should help me to eliminate the spinning effect. <laughs> Done. Easy. I like it. Okay. Now all we're gonna do, I'm gonna use a smaller breaker bar, put pressure here, just to take the, the, the load out of it, and guess what? I'm out. It's out. Excellent. Some people might don't need to do it, I like to do it. So, again, do what it works for you. Now there's going to be one more thing that we need to do here. It's going to be, now you see, it stays there. With this, it will limit the amount of how much can I twist it or turn it, and it stays there. Otherwise, it's gonna kind of return a little bit to that position. We're gonna remove the bolt right here on the bottom. And that seems to be a 15, 16. Yep, 15, 16. impact and of course it does have something here it's a nut I thought it had fix it I'm gonna use the crescent wrench right now because I have it here I don't want to be walking back and forth anymore go together so that way you don't have to worry about it and the next thing we're gonna separate see if we can without too much trouble separate the lower bolt joint from steering knuckle now wash your hands there you go couple of things so if you leave you will find out this if you do it if you leave the sway bar link connector it's sometimes so much you can pull this away and and then works against you so again that's why i like to remove it myself so hopefully this helps you guys okay done now we're going to bring this and out What I can do, I can push this to the front of the vehicle. I can twist it here, and I have all that clearance, all the room. The last thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this. I can go here. Between the transmission and behind the CV axle. And this come out. Alright, so there you have it. This is gonna remove the CV axle and uh, make sure. If you put something, this vehicle doesn't have an oil on the transmission, it was rain already. So I just wanted to take the time to share this information with you guys. So if you find value in this video, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, 
share the video, comment, and I will do my best to reply to all your comments. Once again, I want to appreciate all the subscribers. Uh, thank you for the support, and as usual, God bless, do your best, forget the rest, and I will see you in the next video. Later.